Hi Aries, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person of what they're holding back from telling you. Now these might be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. The person on Aries' mind, show me what they're hiding from Aries. Wow. Okay. So this person, okay. We have the ace of wands, the high priestess and the seven of wands. And then we also have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. And what comes out is pretty like, um, I would say it's like deep for this person. It's, it's personal, I guess, the way that it comes out. You know, what they're hiding is the fact that they want to hook up because they secretly know that you are guarded. You won't really give them the time of day besides like hooking up or something of that nature. And so, you know, they want to hook up and they have this secret knowing that, um, oh, there's also like some of y'all might also tell them no and that has them worried that you're going to turn them down or you're not going to give in to, um, you know, sex or whatever, <laughs> so, no, whatever. Um, so yeah, they have this, this secret knowing that you're going to be guarded from doing that, which has them. It also has them worried, like why you would be guarded, like why you wouldn't be interested in wanting to be intimate with them in that way. Um, but there's also the fact that you, there's others of you that this person is like, well, I just want to hook up because I know that Aries isn't going to want anything more than that. And that's what worries them because they want something more. But for now, it's kind of like they're settling or just accepting the way that things are. All right. So I have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, uh, Pisces, and a little bit of uh, Gemini energy that comes out so far. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Wands. We have the judgment card that comes out. So I have Scorpio and also the 10 of swords, um, more Gemini energy that comes out. All right. Oh, okay. I'm getting like that. Some of you gave this person the opportunity, like you two hooked up and it wasn't that great. And so they feel like that's why you're so guarded. You won't give them a second chance to prove that it can be better or something of that nature and that this is really over. And, you know, they're really drawn to really wanting to face you about, um, feeling cheated or something of that nature that, you know, you won't give them another chance to, to fix this situation. Um, with that judgment card there. They're also having this realization that this is over, like you're really not into them or you're really not going to give into them. And that might be, they might walk away. So if they don't say anything to you and they just kind of walk away, um, it's because they feel that you're guarded from them and you're not opening up intimately with them. And uh, let's go ahead and clarify that high priestess. Wow, so they have a knowledge that you have had your heart broken or there's something kind of pain that's still lingering, but they feel like it's time to move on from it. They didn't cause it, so why should they have to suffer for it? And that's just the way that their feelings come out about the situation, um, you know, having that knowing. There's also that knowing that, um, you know, you could be the one to, or not, well, I don't, I don't want to say the one. They have a secret knowing that you would break their heart have the potential to break their heart because things would happen really fast and just go away. I guess with those of you that haven't been intimate yet, 
if you've hooked up with this person already, um, they feel like, you know, you not giving them a chance. They want to face a situation about, you know, like, let's, let's give this another chance about the ending, about whatever. And, um, feeling that it's not their fault. Um, it's time to move on from the pain. Okay, so I have Libra and Cancer energy that comes out. Let's clarify that. Uh, Seven of Wands. Um... Or they feel that you're guarded, Aries. They feel that you make excuses that you're really busy working, um, that you don't have time to hang out with them or whatever the case may be. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Empress, and then the Hangman at the bottom of the deck that this person um, realizes that you are guarded from even working on things with them or giving this a chance to see where things will go, making the sacrifice or anything like that. They feel like you just won't do that with them. And it doesn't feel like you two were, were together very long or even really anything close at all. It was something they wanted or it's something that they want. Um, Yeah, they just feel like you make a lot of excuses about like being busy at work or having other things going on and that um, like you've told them, I I have to work. I can't not work. I have to do this, and which is completely understandable, but there's something about them feeling that before you weren't like that until you two um, got closer started to get closer when it came to being an intimate but it's not going there all right let's go ahead and get some messages what is this person holding back from telling aries All right, so the first thing that comes out is you don't know how hard it was to let you go. And it really is coming off that you were the one that let them go or you didn't get close to them or you kept your guard up with this person. And so they're going to let go and that's where that 10 of swords is coming out that they feel like this is the end and they're realizing that there's nothing more there than maybe like a one night stand or just um potentially being intimate but not really having a relationship because they feel you're still stuck on something else that you're not over and that you're making excuses to always be busy to not get close to them or anybody else um and therefore they will end up letting go. And I knew exactly what I was doing. This really comes off as they know what's going on. You know, they, they have, they're using their intuition in a sense of they know that you are not over another situation or that you're not really interested in a relationship. So they know exactly what they were doing what they are doing or what they were doing um, and becoming a better person. This really comes off like they're taking a stand to um, say no to what they don't want and say yes to things that they do want and speaking their mind where they might have not been so honest or truthful in the past and just kind of went with the flow of things. And I wish I could share my good news with you. Um, there's something about, you know, being drawn to, to wanting to do that, but they can't, it's like, they want to be close to you, but they can't be close to you because you won't allow them to be close to you or, you know, things just didn't work out the way, um, that they had hoped or they feeling that you are, I, I get this person's more into you Aries than you are into them. 
And so it's, it's hard for them to let go. Oh yeah. Look at the bottom of the deck. It says, I can't stop thinking about you. So this person's very much into you and it feels like they're more into you than you are into them and that you're not allowing things to get personal or, or very, um, like towards a, a relationship or anything with this particular person. And they know that, but it's, it's, they're creating like this, I want to say like this, uh, energy of things being hard for themselves and it's not your fault because they know what they're doing and letting go of you, even though it's hard for them and they get upset about it, they knew exactly what they were doing, that they would get hurt in a situation that they knew would go no further than, you know, um, the passion, uh, or, you know, the start of what might have been, but looks like it got blocked. Um, or is getting blocked. So this is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.